Everything gets better at night. <laughs> Even Yonkers. There's no traffic, no aggravation. Nice. Even Sanchez for the last five years, ever since she got back from Iraq. She's more a man than all the other guys on the four to twelve put together. She's like a friend. We share a vice. Hey! Hey. August 10th. Did you go? Check it out. Here. Seventy. Self-portrait? Oh, you gotta email me this. Put it on my MySpace. Hey, when are you leaving? In the morning. You crazy? Man, you should have took a sick day. Come over to my place. Me and Tina are gonna watch A&E. They got a Son of Sam documentary on, being it's the anniversary when they caught him. Yeah, your name's on the schedule. You show up. I hate it when the guard relieved me as a no-show. Ain't right. Screw that. If I was going on my vacation the next day, I'd tell them all to blow me. I thought that's what Tina was for. So what you hidden? Definitely, this boy good home. Sure. The uh, juvie facility they had him in. 
Still there? Yeah, closed it in 2000, but it's still there. Definitely want to see that. What about the church? Yeah. Church and uh, in the shed. Up in the hills. Wow. Carl Meisler. You're really doing it. On one of these years, I'm going to go with you. No, uh, my trip's a mile. You know that. Big Jim's going to Cali. Hey, if you see Jessica Alba, bang her for me. Hollywood. It's for faggots. Going about 150 miles north of that shithole. Take plenty of pictures. Go fuck yourself. I've been at Post 1 15 years almost. I got job security. Mostly because no one wants my shift. Most guards hate it down here. Down here, you're vulnerable. A couple guards been robbed. And two drive-by shootings. They all say it's too lonely. <laughs> they go nuts after a few weeks. But not me. I never get lonely. I love it down here. I had this doctor. Little Jew fucker the court made me see after I got out of the hospital said it wasn't no good me being alone too much. <laughs> said it was unhealthy. I thought it was full of shit. I mean, the world's all fucked up because nobody ever gets a chance to be alone anymore. You get your emails, answering machines, personal computers. You always got something up your ass. Makes people crazy. You're none of that shit down at Post One. That's why I like it down here. It's quiet. It gives you plenty of think time. Same trap. You, hey, hey, hey. Todd, right, you gotta get your window fixed. Come on, people aren't gonna think you have a job. Get out of here. They're all sluts, drug addicts, whoremongers, child molesters. I know they hate me. And they hate all the guards. Grumpy! Come on, Grumpy, get up here. Come on! I've been at this way too long not to know that. All right, have a great day. You see, they don't trust us. Look at you. You're the sunshine in my day. They think we're going through their desks and offices at night when they go home, and they're right. We are. We are worse than what they're paying us to keep out. So for 30 seconds each day, we all pretend we're buddies. Yeah? Every day this week? Who are you getting back from the United States? Be back Friday. Degenerate gambler that he is. Packed yet? You know me, Ma. I've been packed for two weeks. California, right? Yeah. Little town called Hedicom. Some like farm country. Farm country? This guy was a uh, mass murder arsonist. Oh, lovely, yeah. Fucking awesome. 
Oh, great. Carl Mosnett. Burned down a church in 68. Killed a bunch of people. What the hell's wrong with people? Well, this guy was a gang rape as a kid. That'll fuck you up, ma. I don't get what you do. Right. No, it's... Yeah, yeah, what about those people that go to the grassy knoll? What about them? You see where Kennedy's head exploded. Who's the president? And somehow, that's not weird. But what I do is. I don't know, maybe you're right. I mean, I went to Graceland. Same thing. Same thing. He died in the shitter. He died in the shitter? Mm -hmm. Did they take pictures? Absolutely. No. Virginia Tech. You know, he smells so good. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. Just take care of yourself. Make sure that wherever you're staying, you go down by the pool, relax. Right. What do you want me to bring you back? I'll trust you. I'm gonna get that Sunday going for you. Just be careful. You never took me to ball games, only cemeteries. You said they were peaceful. Spoke. I didn't care. I just like being with you. You put something in my blood, Pop. You made me a grief tourist. Conditioning. It's hot as hell out there. Yes. Yes, yes. Cool. Nice place at night. Good to hide. I'm on vacation. How long you stay? Four nights. Get something by the pool? Here is your key, room 21. We have no pool. It's good to look at the beautiful pooly girls anyway. Enjoy. This is a dump, but I like 
like it. It's cheap. There's better ways to spend your money on vacation than on a room you're hardly ever in. began a lifelong odyssey of arson and murder while still only a child. Embittered by years of torture and sexual abuse at the hands of his alcoholic father, Marzenap evolved from a quiet and violent boy into a vicious killer. He murdered and burned his way across Ventura County on a mission of destruction that was unlike anything law enforcement had ever seen before. Thirteen, after numerous acts of arson, Mars and was remanded to the infamous Grimes Reformatory, a facility known for its draconian punishments and ability to turn wayward boys into hardened criminals overnight. You were full of rage for your parents. By the time you left, you were full of rage for the whole goddamn world. Then you got here, some older boys pulled you screaming into the bathroom and knocked your teeth out so you couldn't bite them when they made you blow them. And those beat you to death. And you're just a little kid and nobody fucking helped you. I guess you must have really liked that. You should polish that off in a hurry. Uh, yeah, my my father. He always said life short, so uh, be quick. Dad of indigestion. <laughs> okay. Can I get you some dessert? Yeah. Yeah. I think there was something. It's at the, the Ventura Volcano. Okay. Sounds like suicide by dessert. It is. I hope you got room for it. No, I always got room. I am a bottomless void. Oh, you know what? That guy was one of our more notorious citizens. You want some more coffee? Uh, sure. Yeah? Okay. I'll be back. Um, um volcano. Por favor. I was in the uh, bookstore up the street and I saw this. I never heard of him. Forget him. Here, I might as well. Seems interesting. Oh, yeah, he was interesting, all right. You know, we get a lot of people coming through here, going to the places where he killed people. And also, the teenagers like to go to that shack where he killed himself. <laughs> you know, I don't get it why people like to go to those places. I mean, what kind of sick thrill do they get by doing that, you know? I don't know about those things. No. I do know that people like to go to Ground Zero. Yeah, I know. I think that's really sick, too. Hey, you should come back for breakfast, because 
it's much better than our dinners, okay? I'm gonna go get your Sunday. These preachers. <laughs> Carl's father was one of these born agains. Tomorrow I go to the ranch to see where this man of God tortured his son. In the spot where Carl killed for the first time. His most intimate place. Tomorrow the tables turn. And I haunt you, Carl. Drop. Sometimes burning his genitals with lit candles and cigars as punishment for minor behavioral offenses. Mars now could begin his murderous spree at the family home on a warm September night in 1932. At the age of 14, he would bludgeon his parents to death with a hammer while they slept. He doused the bodies to gasoline and set the stocks for a blaze. Called the night he murdered his parents the most thrilling event in his life. Victim had been so excited by the sight of his parents burning that he ejaculated for the first time. Carl, Carl, Carl. Like, how could you? I don't think they 
to you. Shit isn't starting up again. Not fucking now, not, not here. like this when I split town. God, what is it about a man being alone in a hotel room that makes him want to just do the most depraved shit? This fucking whore working out of the room next door. The devil is just tempting me. That's one of them itches. The more you scratch it, the more it fucking itches. In 1961, after a five-year spree of arson and murder, Marsnap goes in an extended cooling-off period. In 1964, he begins setting fires again, but writes that it did little to get rid of the rage he felt towards the church. It and its congregation would have to be punished. Advice and you came back for breakfast. Hey, are you okay? Yeah, um, my sister. So, 28, she was just diagnosed with cancer. I've given her three months tops. Oh, Lord. I'm so sorry. I lost my husband a few years ago, and, um... I thought it was gonna kill me. <laughs> but 
but it gets better. Sorry for your loss. Thank you. Excuse me, ma'am. Um, I'll be right there, okay? Can I get you anything? No. I'm a uh, friend of Bill W's. Yeah. So you like this. You will not be a meeting tonight. Yeah, there's one at the community church at 8 o'clock. That's on Polly Street. Uh, I'm Carl. Hi, Carl. I'm Betsy. Okay, I'm gonna get you some coffee, okay? Seems like a nice person. Shouldn't have lied to her. But the truth has never gotten me anywhere. So what if I don't have a sister? That's not important. The bottom line is I got pain. I got pain and she's got pain. The important thing is that grief touched. Your masterpiece.
a man, and he was sprawled out on the bed naked. We had had sex. I was still so drunk, I called my husband. I gave him the address. He came and got me. That was my bottom. I cried for about three weeks after he left. He took my kids with him. But somehow, I found a room. August 5th, 1998. I'm one of the lucky ones. We're all lucky. We've all found rooms. And he was on the couch. He had been watching a book. Arrhythmogenic right ventricular dysplasia. The first symptom of that is sudden death. He was a vegetarian. He was a runner. He was in perfect health. And he was dead at 45. Just like that. And it's been four years. It feels like it was yesterday, and I think I'm actually more distraught now than I was then. I mean, at least then I was in shock, you know? And now the pain just never goes away. place that you just go through, not to, you know. <laughs>
I'm hungry. So what do you do? I'm a security guard. What else? Mm. I learn up. Well, what songs do you like? Um, polka music. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you laugh a lot. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, you're sorry. <laughs> you're beautiful when you laugh. Thank you. Suzanne takes you down to her place near the river. You can hear the boats go by and you can spend the night beside her. And you know that she's half crazy, but that's why you want to be there. And she feeds you tea and all the tea. I'm not sure One bite at a time. Your turn. <laughs> it's very strong. <sighs> you like? Not off anymore. I know the feeling. There's poison in you there. It's sick, so backed up. Just get no. out of the 
give me a kiss or get out. On my neck, not the mouth. What's that? It's a donation. Try. It's too fucking late. I know, Jimmy. There ain't a soul alive on this miserable planet that don't know how to break shit up, pound it into powder, like they did to you and me. certain kin that way. Sometimes people get weird. 
And I just wanted to say that if I made you feel uncomfortable or if I came on too strong, I'm sorry. I guess I kind of let my sense of hospitality just get away from me. But it's just because I really like you. I'm coming up to visit you this weekend, and we can go to Six Flags, okay? I love you, Cookie. Have a great day. Love you. Bye.
just close my eyes. Ain't got to do nothing but be there. I feel like an engine with a million miles on it. That's how it is, Jim. That is the true telling of a thing like this.
it's all over now. about this uh, town of guy they found out there in California, some of the... Uh... I'm from Yonkers, I came here, I got my family out here, and I just wish I could, you know, I could have grabbed my hand. Yeah. Abuse as a child. Yeah. I, have, I think it's very clear uh, that Tana and Marcel have moved both victims out of abuse, and this is what sparked this whole thing. Yeah. 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 Yeah.